I'm a fellow TIs. Good afternoon. I think it's like two something in the afternoon or something. And, um, look, this is me. I'm looking gay as hell. See? Gay as hell. Well, today is National Coming Out Day. And, you know, since since I never had a chance to come out because my dad knew I was gay before I did. And apparently, so did the homeboys. Everybody knew I was gay way before I even figured it out. You get me? And yes, I'm celibate. And it'll be over three years at the end of December. But still, you know, I'm not celebrating some pagan holiday. But, you know, I'm not PC, uh, politically correct. So, you know, I just figured I'd look gay as hell today. You get me? Uh, went to the market when I'm not feeling what I'm going to eat. You know, the, you know that cultured probiotic milk called kefir? It comes in like flavors. It's like a low fat 1% milk. So I ate a whole, I ate a whole thing of that. I drank a whole thing of that. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing when I can't you know, because I can't get a hold of nobody that has insurers that aren't using them. But, um, yeah, I used to dress up in tutus and capes and stuff and on normal occasions. I mean, on, you know, like on normal days. You know, it's because I didn't have a voice when I was young. I didn't have a voice and I didn't get to express myself like a, I... I let my children, you know, my daughter, if she wanted to dress up in one of her Halloween costumes on a regular day, you know, hell, I didn't care because she was expressing herself, you know, whether it be a princess outfit, whether it be a bride's outfit, whether she just wanted to wear a tutu, you know, and a tiara, you know, whatever. I always made sure... You know, she had tutus and tiaras because I didn't have that stuff growing up. And, you know, both my girls, you know, they had the ruffle butt underwear. I didn't buy my first pair until I was over 40. And I bought my first pair of ruffled underwear, you know, the kind that are ruffled on the butt. So, yeah. So, I haven't worn my tutus in a long time. You know, everything's way too big for me, and I'm, I've am i been giving things away. You know, things that, you know, I'm not going to use. But, um, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm still weak. But my spirit is good, so I wore my tutu today. And since I didn't, I didn't get to come out, um... People that already know I'm gay, I'm texting them and telling them, well, there's something I'd like to tell you. I'm gay. <laughs> and they're like, bah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just being silly. You get me? And I feel better the longer I stay away from that apartment. And I've been gone since this morning. So... I'm dreading going back to that, um, that little coffin. So, I guess this video has no content and no substance. Mm. Yeah, it has no substance and nothing to do with being a target individual. But what, like, but like I said, I do post videos personal videos and even if it's just what I'm doing or you know one of me and one of my kids or you know where I'm at or something you know because I want you guys to see 
and even the gang stalkers, you see, I'm a normal person. Not a normal person. Normal is boring. I'm a lion amongst a, a herd of sheep. You get me? And most of us are. But, you know, I am a real person. So peace out. I love you guys. Peace, love, and laughter. Make sure your spirit's good. If your spirit's good, no matter how much pain you're going through, or how much they badger us, whatever you're going through, street theater, radiation, electronic harassment, vehicle harassment, noise harassment, if your spirit's good, no matter what you're going through, or how much you're physically suffering, you're okay. Peace.